He's hit it straight to mid on. He tried the shot earlier. So two wickets going very early on, and once again, Gillespie gets Smith. He's troubled him throughout the series so far. He's taken his wicket several times and does so again to a catch at the wicket. Lovely shot. He does play that shot well. A small man, and comes up to waist height, but he's able to get up on his toes and slash it past the point. He does that very, very well. It's one of his favourite shots, and he hits it well. Jaranganga will hit it. It may go to the, the deeper man. Well, the ball then is gone in swing in Yorker. Robin from in swinging Yorker from Glen McGrath traps Staringanga right in front of off stump, hitting middle stump. No doubt about that. Superb piece of bowling from Glen McGrath. That's a fine shot. He's very strong on the cut shot, and that's magnificently played. A little relief there for the West Indies. Lovely shot, just showing what a range of shots he does have. Beautifully played. Rolled the wrist, got over the ball, and it went through the gap. So when the loose ball comes along, they've got to hit it to the boundary. And in the meantime, they've got to keep scoring and rotating the strike. And that's a lovely on drive. Just a push and goes before. Nice timing from uh, Sarwan. Slowish half volley, full face to the bat. Beautifully played, and Jason Gillespie who was at wide mid-on, just went and fetched the ball. That's gone straight down the ground. Got to the pitch and locked it right over the fence, Brian Lara. So a six coming off the last, delivering that over. It's 117 for three. Yeah. That's a good shot. That will go all the way. No protection out there for Sawan. It's just a long up from Steve Waugh. There for the taking, Sawan did that. Now there's no fielder down there. And help them take that catch, it's still six. Dominated Stuart McGill a fair bit, and that's why we didn't see Stuart McGill bowl a great deal in the first innings when Brian Lara was on the goal. That's just as good as the six he hit previously. That's gone even further. I hope those cars are well insured. That has brought up Brian Lara's half century. It's almost as though he took it as a disrespect that the bad part came out. Because uh, the previous one went a fair distance, but this one has gone even further. Well played, found the gap on the offside this time. Another boundary. Authentic drive from Ramir Sawan. Two boundaries in the over. Very good shot. Got that front knee bent and lent into the ball. Well played. He won't catch that, Jason Gillespie. That's another boundary to Brian Lara. It's one to seven for three. There goes Lara, magnificent through extra cover for four this time. Getting to the pitch of the ball and playing that flourishing extra cover drive which is one of his trademarks. Well, he's got the John Daly backswing. I don't think he's trying to hit it to the fence. I think he's trying to knock the fence over. That's slow motion. Ah! In. Went to hit him for another six. Lara's got his middle stump knocked yeah, back by McGill. That's the big breakthrough for Australia. And Stuart McGill has got his revenge as Lara went for another big one and missed. Well, won't Stuart McGill be happy having that one? Lara won't. It was a perfect delivery. Left him short, left him reaching for the ball. 
spun back through the gap, and it's hit right on the middle stump. Lara trying to hit him out of the ground again. Just watch this. Spun it beautifully, dropped short of him there, back through the gate. Oh, it's just got the top of that stump too, but Stuart McGill, he's got his revenge. Look at it there from front on. Beautiful delivery there. Not what you call a very good shot. He's clubbed that, Chandapal goes for four. Come up with aggressive intent, Chandapal. Looks to me as if it was a Chandapal who got that 100 off 69 deliveries in the first test match. Yeah, he's been positive in this series that, in the starts that he has got. Under Sawan has played well, he's on to 40. Yeah. Cut away well by Sawan, that will run into the fence, Darren Lehman won't catch that. Good play from the ball, always going away from the point fieldsman. Great thing about cutting with the spin, the ball goes clockwise and Darren Lehman just couldn't get there at the start and once he missed the first chance to get it etched and gone past Martin Love and slip very late to react reputation of being a very good slip catcher Martin Love got it through there's no extra cover brings up the 200 for the West Indies Four, three for four. Beat him. Bomb through again. Yeah, yeah. Must be careful here. No, a very good throw. That's five runs. toss that will go all the way as well this is proven to be a very expensive over through the gap very powerfully hit made that look easy Shanga Paul Excellent batting by Shidner on Chandler Ball, not worrying about the fact that there's two balls to a tee. If the ball's there to hit it, let's hit it. The more we get now, the less we'll have to get later on. Excellent shot, right in the middle of the bat. Not far away from the hands of square leg, Andy Bickle, but... Long hop, put away for four. He just had so much time ready to just look around the field and say, well, where should I hit this one? Oh, he's been quiet for a while, that uh, David Graff. That'll be four. That's a good response there from Shadapal. Lovely shot. Magnificent shot. An on drive. That's one of the prettiest shots in the game and quickly played. But it was, one of people may say it's risky uh, to the girl, but if you get to the pitch of the ball, it's not going to be too much risk in it. Let's have a look. Right on. Now the foot marks for the half ball in it. Hit that pretty well. And that's going to go all the way. That's a good hook shot. Hook it down this time. So perhaps he's been working on that. Yeah. And he's got it through. Again, that long boundary. A chaser for Lange. He won't get there this time. Sawan goes to 90. Gone through for four more. Sawan moves to 94. Pulled away, first ball from Gillespie. He raises a hundred partnership between these two. Bad delivery and put away by Chandapur. He's pulled that away. And that'll go for four more. That's his 50. Ramnaresh Rawan has come back. 
with injured finger and all and got a very good half century as the West Indies move on to 272 for four. Half century up to 73 deliveries, that's his ninth four. And he's gone for it. He's hit it two, bounced into the fence at mid-wicket of Brett Lee. 100. What a moment for Ramir Salman. He has put up with it all. He has scored 100 against the best side in the world, the best bowling attack in world cricket. We'll get the applause in the Australians as well, so very good at the Australians. There's been a lot of verbal stuff between both sides, but acknowledgement from everybody. Courtney Ambrose and Reverend Osao in his second Test 100. And, well, the sportsmanship is there when it has to be there, and that is probably the, the most important visual moment of the day. Picked away four. So the Australian bowlers are being given a mauling. Going to get us in the air, and that's a bad shot. And Lee's got him. Liam McGrath must have worked it out because Lee's gone straight to McGrath and said, Thank you very much, Glenn. So they set it up, and on 105, we made the point. Shot selection was the most important issue, and he's made a poor shot selection. The hook shot's brought him undone yet again. That's right. And. Uh bit of ambivalence simply because he played a great innings but the hook shot is not his forte it's not his strength played one to get to 99 and Lee accepts it gleefully finally a caught on board for Brett Lee as well and the brand new ball and he's hit it he yeah. hit his arm. where's it hit where's it hit David Shepard they're asking him he's out Brett Lee's on a hat trick Lee charged in and really Jake couldn't cope with the pace. We saw him get tangled up in the first inning with shortest deliveries and he has done exactly the same in the second. So Australia have just turned the world back into them. One brings two. Ricky Jacobs is not convinced that uh, this has come off the bat or the glove. The Australians were absolutely convinced. The Indian fans are stunned. Because once again Australia pushed themselves out in front in this test match two wickets in two balls let's have a look at what this hits nowhere near the glove nowhere near the bat off the elbow of Ricky Jacobs over slip just evading the gully that will go to the boundary That brings up the 300 for the West Indies. Runs. Simaranj on the pause says, I won't be moving. I need my energy for a bit later on. Cut away and gone for four. Lovely placement. Real in the middle of a spell doing the bowling. And the West Indies now need 100 to win. He's played the hook shot. He's gone all the way for six. He got into position early and he's caught. But that doesn't count because his man is over the fence. And that's outstanding stuff. Just thought with the natural eye that Shikmar and Chandapur didn't follow through with the shot. They're yeah, just a short arm jab. That has gone a long way. Second new ball coming off the bat with some velocity. Straight to on right for four. 14 runs from the Gillespie over. Goal. Full toss and he's got it past, he has four runs. 84 to win. And four runs. That's the gap that is there. It's there for the cut shot, not for the wide half volley that can be hit through there easily. 
over the top. That should go, go a long way towards the boundary. Brett Lee is quick, but he's not that quick. At first, I, I thought it was a near chance. It looked like it was almost going to lob to Brett Lee. Obviously, he had a bit more on it than uh, what it looked to the eye. Full toss again. Didn't quite get hold of it, Shinarayan Changapal, but it may go all the way. It still goes all the way. Pull that very hard as well, Shanda Paul, another boundary. Moves on to 98 with that shot, Shinder and Shanda Paul. Short McGill, the bowler. That's his 100. Well, there it is, the crowd erupts. That's his wife, that is Larry. And everybody here in this crowd, the Australians, all the locals. Absolutely thrilled with the nice cricket. Shanda Paul. He just snuck up on this hundred. Salwan was in there this afternoon. Blazing away. Shanda Paul was the quiet achiever, and then he took over from that role. And this has been a top hundred from him. Catch. That's powerfully hit. That's four. Damn, Shanda Paul goes. Big breakthrough for Australia. Is that the match? Chandapal has added one wonderful innings yesterday. Ended today with the addition of only one run. Gilchrist takes the catch. Thick edge. Glum faces for West Indians, but it isn't over yet. It's 372 for seven. Still 46 more to get. Picked away. There are two men there, but it may go between the two of them. It has. The first boundary of the morning between Gillespie and McGill. The attempt of Yorker strained down leg side and flicked away nicely. Slashed away again. It's going through the coach with really the get to the fence. It will four runs. Cuts oh. off, cut shot past the man at Gully and Hayden. Did he get a hand to it? Will it go for four? It's being pursued vigorously. Four runs. It went quite sharply past Hayden's right-hand side. He went hard, and it flew off. He's gone for it, the man's up. Will it go for six? Will it go for six? Yes, it will, the top of the grandstand. So against the leg spin of McGill, it wasn't quite a half volley, but it nearly went two parishes away. It was stopped by the top of the grandstand. That is a massive blow. And it's down to 16 with three wickets in hand. Four runs over the top of the stumps. Four runs down to 10 runs to win, 12 runs to win. Successfully getting there. And that's not the next bag, but he's going a long way. We wait on umpire Shepard, it gets to the boundary now, it's runs. Four more runs to Amara Banks. That's powerful hit, and that's it. The West Indies have won. Vasper Drakes has hit the winning run, and what a win for the West Indies. Set a target of 418. A world record victory, this by the West Indies. The biggest total ever chased in the fourth innings to achieve victory. Brian Lara is happy. The West Indies are very happy, and why shouldn't they be? It's a